Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2KDev. Now in this video we're going to be going over classes inside of Swift. Now in the previous videos we've gone over variables, string interpolation, arrays, for loops, conditional statements and functions. So now we're going to be taking the next logical step and moving into basic classes. Now you can consider a class basically a, a section of code that you've defined um, previously that can be reused in multiple places. An example of this would be it's a good place to store if you were doing a game, you would have a class for your map or tile engine or rendering engine or sound engine. And you would contain all of the code related to those subjects inside of that class. Then you would make instances of that class. So you would create a, a reusable section of it. So you, you'd basically declare a variable that was of the type of your class. And then you would use those uh, reusable sections of code. Now I'm going to do the basic example here and that's going to be animals and then dogs. So in the next video when we do inheritance, our dog class will basically inherit from our animal class. So basically to start a class you just say class, you type the word class, and I will call this class class animal. You open it with uh, parent uh, curly braces and close it with curly braces and that is the start of class. Now a class has these, um, <clears throat> a class can contain functions and variables just like um, another function can, but the difference is you can make an object a type of this class. So I'm going to create a, an instance variable and I'm going to call this var and it's going to say name because all animals are going to have a name. And we're just going to default this to uh, default for the moment. The next thing I'm going to have is an age. So I'm going to say var age equals zero. So these are going to be the two basic properties that an animal has. Then we're going to define a function. So I'm just going to say func and I'm going to say get details. So this function is going to return a string and that string is basically going to tell us the details of this animal. So inside of the function, inside of this class, I'm going to say return and then I'm just going to compose a string saying this animal's name is and then a forward slash and our opening parentheses and closing parentheses name. It is, then again we do the same thing, I'm going to say age years old period actually no, no period no period in there so basically this is our animal class now any animal that inherits from this class later on is going to in inherit all of these properties it's also going to inherit the function get details so if you have a dog it can have a different name it can have different functions uh, for example dogs have a function called woof and cats have a function called meow uh, but even though that they default from the same parent class, they will not inherit each other's features. But they will inherit this basic name and age. So what I'm going to do now, back in our global scope, is I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to call it my animal. And it's going to be equal to an animal, which is the class that we made, with open and closing uh, parentheses. And this creates a, a default instance of this class here and you can see that over here in our real-time compiler you can see that this object has a name of default and an age of zero and those are the values that we'd set up inside of the class we can actually go a step further than this and now we can say my animal dot and if you see the IntelliSense we get these variables and they're defined here with this nice little V and this M for method now if I want to get the details of that animal all I need to do is execute the function get details and what you'll see is this animal is, if I add this to our watches, this animal's name is default and it is zero years old. So before we get the details of the animal, I'm going to set some, some things on. I'm going to say my animal dot name equals woofy and my animal dot age equals two. Now when we call the get details function, you'll see that those variables have updated. This animal's name is woofy, it is two years old. And this is the basics of how we use classes. So in the next video, we'll create a dog and a cat, which will inherit from this base class. And instead of using a type of animal, we'll use a type of dog or a type of cat. And you'll see how these variables sort of flow like a waterfall down this stream or down the chain. And then we can access them through a dog and through a cat. So thank you for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave any comments and questions inside of the section below. Bye, guys.